But I just always remember seeing Zach as a tiny little girl with his own self-shaped board and he was shredding on him. I just sort of like, you know, see him from afar, trip out on his weird shit, think it's cool give him shit when I see him. Just like the stuff you're supposed to do when you're older. Like positive reinforcement, but with a touch of, you know, grommet abuse. When we give you shit, it's because we care. But we only give you shit if you're cool. I heard of him first through Jim. You know, I got this kid, uh, but you know, you never know until they get a little older. Well, this is, 583 Westlake Street in Encinitas, and it's been referred to in years as the hill. The building was erected in 1969. It was originally manufactured and built by John Price, the owner of Surfboards Hawaii. Here in California, Zach was my first really an intense uh, student that he was 11 when I first met him. No, I can't remember the first time. They're... That was all mixed together from sitting on that stool right there. It was probably two summers in a row that my mom dropped me off here almost every day. The, the first four or five boards that Zach did, I went over them and fixed everything, and right away I was just man, Zach's really a good shaper. So then it was time for me to pull back. It's awesome to surf for a surf company that still hand makes trunks and being able to see the process from Sato, the lady who's been working there for so many years, and the all original office, it's nice to know that your company is original and not a take off of something else. He surfs to low tide shit conditions and kills it on this weird peak in here somewhere. So I mean it kind of fits, he finds his own window to surf kind of like with the equipment he's on. And and I was making a joke with him. He's closer to Tosh in age than me. You know, he's three years older than my son, so you know, Tosh looks up to him a lot and comes down. And says, what are you doing? What are you riding? Checks out his boards that are that thin. You know, he's a cool kid. It's so nice to have someone with their own perspective on it coming up surfing around here. Someone who's really into experimenting with boards and then also just trying to push the boundaries. I think he's got a lot to share with surfing and it's great that people are taking a notice to what a good style and what a great surfer he is.